Good morning, ladies. This is Cheryl here. Um, I can't, I'm just jumping on here to show you some of the ephemera that I am making for the haunted Halloween um, guest design team project that I'm doing for Kara Brandon uh, of Kara Brandon Creations. Uh, and her Facebook group is Kara Brandon and Friends. Um, jump on over and join the group. So, um, I posted pictures on uh, the page and I promised you that I would jump on and show you uh, this ephemera. And I want to do that because um, I made this a snippet roll and uh, for the project that I'm working on and I kind of you know you can't see it so I want to show it to you it's very hard to take pictures of a of a longer piece so I'm just gonna kind of try to show it to you but first I want to show you the tags that I've been making and the pocket tags this is a zipper tag I think I've already posted that um, last weekend but that was the first of this series of tags that I'm making for my project so there's that this is a pocket tag and very easy very fun and um, this is a little file folder that I created with a piece of the paper and it's just a little notebook that I sewed together you know and you can use the pages and write on them okay not very fancy, but just something to tuck into a pocket. Um, so there's that. This is uh, the other half of that tag. As you can see, these are mirror image here. This was the bottom half of this tag, and this is the top half. This top half made a top pocket. This bottom half made a bottom pocket. And so there's the tag, and I just have some of the cut of parts in there, and I made a little pocket with these two tags, and put in a couple of little pieces of ephemera from the kit. These kits are so fun to work with. I am having such a fun time. And there's so many pieces, especially like if you ladies jump on over uh, to Kara's shop, um, on Etsy, Kara Brandon's Creations. I'm telling you, if you get the bundle, you are going to get all these pieces and you are just going to be able to make so many fun things. This is a window tag that I did and I have the, the spider web mesh in there and instead of leaving it like I normally would, I did back this one because I wanted you to be able to see this. this I felt like it couldn't be seen really good without being backed. So I did this little tag. Uh, this is another pocket tag that I did using two tags actually and then they become a pocket tag and the little skeleton cut apart. I added a cute little black heart there and this I love using this mesh and here's a little wax seal with a B on it. The back is just a one of those one of the smaller tags with a cut apart on it. And I decorated it with some lace. Very easy, very fun. And this is a pocket that I made. It says just stay in after dark. And I made a tag for in the pocket. I used a uh, a security window envelope to make this pocket which I will glue on the page. I was you could leave it, you know, and you could write on it. You could leave it as a uh a floating pocket, but I decided I think I'm going to glue it down. Here's the tag with one of the cut of parts, the black kitty, and I put some I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I put some gold glitter on the eyes so they would shine. <laughs> So, uh, there we go. And that just fits right in there like that. Okay, so these, these, 
are the pieces of ephemera that I have in addition to the pocket, the, the trifold pocket thing that I made for the project. So I'll get these out of the way. And I want to show you this snippet roll. I hope it's been rolled up for a few days, so I hope it's going to be okay. It's paper. I did it in the Tim Holtz style um, because that's what I love. And they, these kits go so well with Tim Holtz things. So I used a couple of Tim Holtz things in here, you know, little pieces. But let me unroll it. Hopefully I can get you to be able to see it. So I used the papers and sewed all over it. And I used some washi tape and some tickets. This is one of the photos that I reduced, you know, quite a bit so I could put it on there from the from the vintage ladies kits that Kara uh, has uh, to go with this and um, I added lace on one end but I didn't add anything up here because I will probably be cutting this to use it in different ways sometimes for maybe a side tuck or sometimes for a pocket and I will cut sections you know to use which I hate to cut it look at it it's so pretty and I fussy cut you know some of the things and I put tickets here and here's a little Tim Holtz doll and and you can see that I used the papers from the kit and layered them some are peeking out at the top some are peeking out at the bottom and some are in the center and um, gee I hope I'm showing you this on camera um, but it's very pretty it's very pretty it has that Tim Holtz feel to it which I love because it just goes with the the trifold tag booklet that I made and all the other ephemera and the, the project that I'm working on I did use some washi tape some you know, just some random pieces of washi tape that kind of fit in with the whole thing. I used some Tim Holtz, um, the spray mica. I think it's in the brass, and I, I did some sparkles in some places. I just sprayed it on there, and it makes it a little tiny, tiny bit shimmery. I didn't use a lot, but I used enough that you can see it in places. So I hope you uh, like this. Let's see if I can roll it back up. So I have these little spools that I found at the flea market. And uh, so they're perfect for rolling up your snippet rolls to store them and display them. I don't know. It's really going to be tough, ladies, for me to cut this. You know, I made this to go with in my project but I'm going to tell you I'm not sure that I, I'm thinking oh no how am I going to cut this you know so there it is I did I rolled it back up isn't it cute I love it I love it so much because I love making snippet rolls and most of the snippet rolls that I make are with fabric and laces and doilies and things like that but this one is paper did it the same kind of way and uh, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed seeing all this ephemera, and I hope that all the ladies on the team are having as much fun as I am working and playing whenever I can with these kits. Look at all this. Look at it, it's so pretty. And I have some other colors to work with yet, but there's the teal. I want to do a little, maybe a little more purple. I've done a lot of the orange because orange and black, of course, would be my favorite. Uh, but I've added touches of the purple. I've mixed them in different places. And uh, so you'll see that later, some of that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you are interested in some great Halloween digitals, jump on Etsy. Jump on, uh, on over to Etsy to Kara Brandon Creations and um, look up her Haunted Halloween Specimen kits in teal, purple, and orange. And then there are additional ephemera and cut apart and grungy 
uh, journal cards, that kind of thing to go with it. And there, I think she sells them in bundles where you get the whole thing, or you can buy them individually. And I think she has a Labor Day sale, perhaps, going on. I'm not positive about that, uh, but check it out. And uh, they are worth it. They are fabulous, and I am having a great time making all this. Um, and I, I really feel honored, actually, to be a guest design team member. So thank you so much again, Kara. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.